see World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Wednesday night. And we begin tonight with the bombshell announcement from Fox News that their biggest star is out amid growing reports of sexual harassment that sparked an advertiser revolt. Bill O'Reilly, the anchor of the cable network's most popular show, will not be returning after a two-decade run. The announcement coming with O'Reilly on a planned vacation, he was seen today shaking hands with the Pope at the Vatican. And just a short time ago, we heard from Bill O'Reilly himself, his response tonight. Here's ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, leading us off. Caution, you are about to enter the no spin zone. No spinning it tonight, the king of cable news dethroned. Bill O'Reilly, the host of cable's most popular show for 16 years, out at Fox News in the wake of that growing sexual harassment scandal. Lachlan and James Murdoch, executives at Fox's parent company, reportedly pushed for O'Reilly's ouster. Their father, Rupert Murdoch, ultimately signing off amid a growing scandal. 21st Century Fox announcing that after a thorough and careful review of the allegations, the company and Bill O'Reilly have agreed that Bill O'Reilly will not be returning to the Fox News channel. Bill O'Reilly also releasing his own statement. It is tremendously disheartening that we part ways due to completely unfounded claims, but that is the unfortunate reality many of us in the public eye must live with today. O'Reilly's statement comes after those new images tonight, showing him on vacation shaking hands with the Pope at the Vatican today. Back in New York, Fox executives clearly were not forgiving. New accusers coming forward, including this African-American Fox employee. Her attorney says this picture shows her calling the company's anonymous tip line, alleging O'Reilly would leer and grunt at her, calling her hot chocolate. One of the few who has publicly defended O'Reilly when the scandal broke, President Trump, telling the New York Times. I think he's a, a person I know well. He's yeah. a good person. Personally, mm -hmm. I think he shouldn't have settled. Trump, reportedly a friend of O'Reilly's for years and a frequent guest on his show. After the release of that infamous Access Hollywood video. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to play too much of it because it's crude guy talk. Then candidate Trump also defended former Fox CEO Roger Ailes before he was forced out last summer after his own harassment scandal with multiple accusers coming forward. And tonight, after 20 years, a stunning fall for the Fox host. One of O'Reilly's accusers, radio host Wendy Walsh, saying she doesn't want money. We know this is the tip of the iceberg. And so let's get to our chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, tonight. She's live outside Fox News headquarters. And Rebecca, you're learning more about how Fox reached this decision. That's right, David. In an internal 21st Century Fox memo obtained by ABC News, the company says it reached this decision following an extensive review in collaboration with outside counsel. And that memo, David, was signed by Rupert Lachlan and James Murdoch. David? Rebecca Jarvis leading us off tonight. Rebecca, thank you.